guys happy sunday i it is very early so i'll spare y'all it's not halloween yet so i'll spare y'all looking at me when i just barely woke up because i do plan on trying to go back to sleep i just wanted to get my corned beef on here's my corned beef it is um four pounds cost me 29 dollars got it at mariano's um just want to show you my quick prep. It's nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary with my corned beef. I'm just um, sharing it with you guys. Uh, I got my crock pot here. My hands are washed, but I will wash them again. I don't know how some of y'all are on YouTube. Okay. Here's the pan. hands washed again um, I'm just gonna put my onion in my crock pot I cut it up cut it up already just layering it layering it in the at the bottom I'm gonna put, I got carrots I'm not doing uh, cabbage y'all I'm doing um Brussels sprouts, which to me are like little baby, um, baby carrots, which are to me like, um, very similar to like little baby cabbages, so that's why I'm not, um, that's why I'm in changing them up. Sorry, y'all, my brain, I haven't really got much sleep, um, and I have some garlic here that I already peeled and I'm just it's like I'm gonna crush it up a bit I'm not gonna put that in yet I'm gonna put it on top of my meat um I'm not putting in the potatoes yet but these are gonna be the potatoes that I use um because they're really small and this is a pretty big corned beef I'm not putting in um, anything but the vegetable and the meat and the seasoning right now. Let me cut my uh, corned beef open. My scissors. Yeah, I'm not um, putting the uh, vegetables and stuff. And I don't even know if I'm going to put in my uh, my um Brussels sprouts yet either because or I don't know if I'm gonna put it in at all because I actually want to okay here's my corned beef ah. put it in the crock pot I gotta be careful I have a low cabinet y'all you can't see it. I have a low cabinet and I don't want, I don't want my meat touching it I'm just going to put some sugar. This is about, um, I say, uh, a little bit under a half a cup of sugar. This is my Guinness. I'm going to add that in a minute, but let me pour these juices and I got to get the, I am going to use my seasoning packet. I know some people choose to, some people choose not to. Mess it off. Put my garlic on top. I'm going to put these juices in here. And the meat. Okay. Garbage. Rinse my hands off again. I'm just gonna keep the water running. Sorry, y'all. The water's um, the sound of the water is bothering you, but just wanna make sure I constantly wash my hands because I know how people. I mean, like y'all eating it, so me and my family gonna eat it. But <laughs> I just wanna make sure it's the seasoning packet. Putting that on top. This corned beef is going to shrink down a lot because 
I have a really big crock pot and this is but this is like a flat corned beef brisket um, so it's like flat and long it's not really that thick but it's going to shrink down a whole lot and I'll show you guys that later when I get back up <clears throat> I got my Guinness I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper on here on my corned beef and I'm gonna show y'all the what it looked like in a little bit but I just wanted to come on here and start this and share it with y'all so y'all having a good Sunday and maybe hopefully having a good day it's raining in Chicago today again it's Guinness going to pour it in Also going to put a little a little Worcestershire sauce. This is just a combination of um I'm not measuring y'all I don't really measure when it comes to stuff. <laughs> I just I just cook. So <laughs> um clean this stuff up. This is a very uneventful recipe. Um I'll probably show y'all some good stuff in the near future but i'm not sure about how much cooking i'm going to actually do i do eating but i don't know how much cooking i'm going to be doing because pausing and stopping and doing cooking is a lot in my kitchen is the way it's set up it's hard to get stuff um going or to show y'all and this is the corned beef before let's um look at my crock pot that is not plugged in. Sorry, y'all. My air fryer is plugged in, but not my crock pot. Let me move this out some more. It's on the cord. I don't know if y'all can see that, but plug it in. Otherwise, we ain't gonna have no food on time. This thing ain't going in. There we go. Sorry, y'all. Let's cover it up. Getting off the rack. Going to cover it. It's covered. Going to set my crock. I'm trying to so y'all see. Going to set my crock pot. <clears throat> put it on low. Put it on for eight hours. Um, yeah, it's set now. I'm putting it on eight hours, but I'm gonna check it periodically to see how it's doing. And I will get back with y'all and let y'all see that um, once everything is uh, all cooked and incorporated. And I'll show y'all what I do. Or I'll try to come back and show y'all what I do with my Brussels, Brussels sprouts and stuff. And whatever else I may be making with this today. So I'll see y'all in a bit. My corned beef is almost done. So you guys can see that's just fat. The fat cap that shrunk. That's the beef and I added potatoes. I didn't come back and show you that, but the potatoes are already in and they've been cooking. I got about an hour and thirty six minutes left on it <coughs> to cook. So now I am going to add my Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna chop those up right now and then I'm going to put them in. <sighs> Get this dinner up and going just adding the brussels sprouts in y'all i'm not doing nothing spectacular but putting them in <sighs> it smells really good i can't wait to eat just chopping them up and putting them in chopping them up and putting them in Should cook within the hour and a half that's left. If not, I will just give it a little bit more time. It's not a big deal. But it doesn't take that long to cook Brussels sprouts. They are it was hot. <clears throat> they cook down fairly quickly, is what I'm saying. So get these. Oh shoot. 
Well, there goes that one. <laughs> Flyaway Brussels sprout. Oh, well. That's fine. I got plenty more. It is all right. It happens. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. Nate should be home for dinner. From home from work <clears throat> soon. Gonna just hang out for the rest of this Sunday and unwind. It's still dark and gray outside. Ooh, gray outside and probably just watch a movie and you know those lazy Sundays. I put my power review up. I managed to get that done after I started my corned beef. If y'all haven't watched it, haven't watched power yet. Watch Power first, then <laughs> come back to my channel and uh, watch my review and check it out because I review Power and it was a very good episode and I would love to talk to y'all about it and here we go. So, got Brussels sprouts in there and they're with the roast. The carrots and onions are all at the bottom. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to put the top back on and let this bad boy finish cooking. I will see y'all with the finished product. Um, and I'm going to probably do a mukbang. Um, I'll probably release the mukbang tomorrow or later on this week, but I'll let y'all see the finished product um, in a couple hours. So I will see y'all soon. Right, so we are done. Well, I am done cooking Sunday dinner. Um, I'm going to pan over to my corned beef. That's how it looks. I made some mashed potatoes. This is Irish soda bread that I just got from the local Jewel. And these, ooh, excuse me, these are all the vegetables that... Um, you know, the Brussels sprouts and carrots, onions, and potatoes from uh, the crock pot. So, we are going to get to eating. This is going to be, this part going to be short because, you know, we're just going to have some family time. And we're going to get to eat. But, as you can see, it's, like, so tender. And it did not need <laughs> to be sliced. You just break it apart. You just put it down on the side. So, I'm going to have my first bite with y'all, but then I'm going to get off camera because we have not spent much time together, and um, <clears throat> I want to just spend some quality time and just hang out and talk over dinner, and hopefully you guys are doing the same. So, I'll share my first couple bites with y'all, and then... I'll let y'all go and enjoy y'all Sunday dinner. Hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. It was very quick, very easy, kind of like dump and go type. You taste it yet? Taste the wrong. Okay. That Guinness. Something about Guinness just is fat. I don't want to eat. Some people like eating fat. No, I don't. But I don't like to eat. That's Sometimes so I eat. Let me get some of everything. I like to get a little bite with everything, little piece on it. I don't got no. So, y'all can share a bite with me. Mmm. <clears throat> it's so tender. It's good. It's mm, really good. Let me try again. Tell me if it's so good. It. <laughs> mm. That is yummy. Mm. Okay. But yeah, y'all. This is easy. Anybody can make this. Very easy, very flavorful. Um, if y'all do try it, let me know. Whew, have a couple more bites because I'm so hungry, I don't even feel like turning the camera off. <laughs> so, y'all just have to watch me a little bit more. 
I'm going to do a mukbang on this probably tomorrow with like leftovers like the um make a sandwich maybe do a Reuben or something like that I'm gonna buy the bread <clears throat> Um, this is good comfort food it's cold and wet outside it's good to have something that warms the bones all right so that was my this is my sunday dinner i hope y'all enjoyed my video um hope i can get some energy i'm so tired um have a happy sunday um and I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, if you guys like this little cooking segment, just let me know. I will put out more recipes and stuff for you guys to look out, look at. And I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed evening, and I will see you later. Peace. Bye.